الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين. My dear respected elders, brothers and sisters, in this world when we are in turmoil, in difficulty, there's three layers. One layer is possibly the outer layer where we feel pain on our body. Allah speaks about that in Jahannam. كلما نذجت جلودهم بدلناهم جلودا غيرها ليذوقوا العذاب. Every time the skin burns out, we will give them a new skin to taste the adab. The second layer is inside, where you have a tummy ache, you have a headache. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the food and the drink that the Jahannami will consume. And because of that, the pain that he will receive inside. And then there's the third pain, the emotional pain. The pain that they will see the Jannah is enjoying and they will have to be in adab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَطَّلِعُ عَلَيْهِمْ Al-Af'idah, uh, the fire will consume their hearts. They will burn within. So subhanAllah, there's three layers of pain. The outer pain, the inner pain, and then the pain, the emotional pain that they will be tormented with. Now my beloved subhanAllah, coming to the pain of within, the pain inside the tummy, the pain inside the, 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 the jugular vein, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says like how everyone gets hungry, the Jahannami will also get hungry. And he will say, I want food. He will cry, I want food, I want to eat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have prepared for them a feast. I also have food for them. In Surah al dukhan in Surah Al-Safat, in Surah Al-Waqi'ah, in many, many ayat of the Quran Kareem, in various surahs, Surah Al-Isra, Allah speaks about the various foods of the people of Jahannam. ذَا غُصَّةٍ وَعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ In Surah Al-Ghashi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَا يُسْمِنُ وَلَا يُغْنِي مِنْ جُوعٍ The food of Jahannam is only to hurt you. It will not fatten them, nor will it take their hunger away. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about غِسْلِينَ تُعَامُ الْأَثِيمِ يَغْلِي فِي الْبُطُونَ They will eat it. But instead of, subhanAllah, helping them, it will hurt them. The ghussa, it is from the tree called the zakum. Zakum is a tree, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about it in many ayat of the Quran al-Kareem. Ta'am al it's the food of the impious. It is kalmuhl, like molten lead. Now molten lead, you know, if you know lead, it does melt at a very high Fahrenheit, but it cannot boil. The fire of Jahannam will be so severe. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah has taken the fire of the lightest Jahannam and watered it down 100 times before he gave you a flame in this world. That is why when the riots were in India, there was a girl that was about to get married. She was a bride. And the family was scared that in those riots, Probably they will take this girl and probably they will kidnap her. So they were looking for a place quickly to hide her. So in the frenzy, they found a small little cave. In there, there was a talibul ilm, a person learning knowledge, alhamdulillah. So they quickly hid her inside there and they told him, just look after her, tomorrow we will come and fetch her. So he's a talibul ilm. He's reading his hadith and his Quran. Probably for years he never set his eye on a beautiful girl. And there she is alone with him in this cave, all dolled up to be a bride. So subhanAllah, he told her, there's my bed, you can sleep. Turned himself around and he kept on reading his Quran and Hadith. The next morning the family came, they took her, they thanked him, they threw some coins to him. But she said, Abba, I do not want to leave until I ask him a question. I said, what's the question? She said that I saw that every time... You were taking your finger and passing it through the flame of the candle. So he said, I'm also a young man and I also have desire. And every time I seen you, the shaitan played up tricks in my mind. But then I put my finger through that flame and I told myself, Ya Ibn Adam, oh so and so, if you cannot have sabr over a simple flame of a candle, how will you be able to take the flames of Jahannam? My beloved subhanAllah, Allah speaks about zakum. Ru'usuha tal'uha ka'annahu ru'usu shayateen. You know, sometimes food looks very nice, amazing, but when you taste it, ah, it's not my taste. And sometimes food doesn't really look very appeasing, but when you taste it, wow, this tastes amazing. So if 
food looks good also and tastes good than nurun ala nur. So subhanallah, there the food will not taste good at all. But not only will it not taste good, it will not even look appeasing. Allah says that those huge, thorny, prickly fruits of zakum will look like the heads of shaitan. Like dragons coming out with fire. And then those fruits will be taken. They'll want to eat. Then يَتَجَرَّعُهُ وَلَا يَكَادُ يُسِيغُهُ Aye. Allah says the shaitan, these, these, the, the malaika will take these fruits open their mouths and force it in until it will get stuck in their throats and it will not be able to go. Then they will scream, وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ They'll say, the shayateen are with us here. The malaika are not listening to us. Where? Who do we call? They will say, O oh, people of Jannah, whilst you are enjoying, أَفِيدُوا عَلَيْنَا مِنَ الْمَا Throw some water for us. We just want water. But where the people of Jannah are going to hear them? People of Jannah are drinking, mashallah, alcohol and streams of Zanjabil and Tasneem. They're not going to even look at the people of Jahannam. When they cannot get water from the people of Jannah, they will beg. They will beg the angels, give us water. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Sadid ma'in hamim yaghli fil butoon taqatta'at am'a'ahum. Read the ayat of the Quran Kareem. They will then be brought with the drink called Hamim or Sadid. This is an entire valley in Jahannam. And as the Jahannamis are in there, their pus and blood will collect. And the pus and the blood of the Jahannamis will boil. That will be the drink of the people of Jahannam. When it will be brought to them, it will come close to them. Shahatil Wuju instantly because of the heat of that drink. Their lips will melt away. There will be nothing on their faces but bone. And then it will be thrown down their throats. With the zakum, it will go down. You ate haram. You ate riba. You had usury. You never worry if it is halal or haram. Now, Allah will say, Quran speaks, Dhuq, dhuq, innaka anta al-azizul kareem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sarcastic with them. Come, my dear guest. Come, my dear guest. You're very, very well anointed today. You are Mr. So-and-so, my Mr. Honorable. Come and eat. Look, inna ka antala. You know how you tell your guest out of respect. Come and taste. Allah says, we'll tell them, come taste. Enjoy, enjoy. Taqatta'at am'a'ahum. Allah says, before it can even reach their intestines, it will blast open. It will blast open. When they will go through this, they will not be able to take it. Now, how do they take out that fury? They will look for those who got them in trouble. They will look for the imams. They will look for the rabbis. They will look for the political leaders. And they will say, In tabarnak, we followed you. You know what? I'm speaking Jahannam. I'm jumping from the second Jews. I'm going to the 30th Jews. I'm coming to the 15th. I'm jumping back to the 23rd. There's not a Jews without Allah opening up the reality of Jahannam. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, when the leaders will wash off their hands from their followers, the followers will say it was you. What they will say? Inna kunun fiha. We all have to dwell in it. We all have to be in it. Lo hadan Allahu la hadainakum. If Allah gave us hidayah, He would have given you hidayah. Then they will blame Jahan. They will blame Iblis. That's for another day. When they see that that's not helping, then they say, you know, in the world, when we were very scared and we scram. And we done things, we done protest. It was of no use. So maybe we should have some sabr now. Let's have sabr. Let's all patience come. Moment of silence. So the entire Jahannam will go into silence. They will say we were screaming and we were making noise. Probably now let's just take it. Come, let's make sabr. Maybe Allah will look at us making sabr. He will have some mercy on us. One thousand years will go and there will be of no avail. The adab will continue and intensify. Then they say, let's talk to Malik. Now who is Malik? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that khazana to Jahannam, the guardians of Jahannam, alayha tis'ata ashar, 19 malaika, the most fearsome, ferocious creatures Allah has ever created. Ghiladun, shidad, rough and tough. They don't know how to smile. La ya'soon Allah ma amarahum. And they don't go against the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
19 of them and each one of them will have millions the sahaba said we asked rasulullah how many of malaika under them he said no count only allah knows then their amir their leader will be malik malik will have in so many fingers on his hands the amount of the jahannam is he'll have billions of fingers and every finger will be on one jahannami he'll control the jahannamis with his fingers Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went for Mi'raj when he came to Mi'raj he met every angel and every angel ibtasama fi wajhi Rasulullah smiled in the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when my Nabi finally subhanallah came down he told Ya Jibreel innani laqeetu hadha I met Malik the guardian of Jahannam wa ma ibtasama fi wajhi he frowned he looked at me angry I never do anything so Ima Sayyidina Jibra'il alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ya Rasulallah, law ittasama fi wajhi ahadin, labtasama fi wajhik, walakin ma ittasama mundu khalaqahu Allah. Allah has not created him with the ability to smile. Since the day he was born, he never smiled. Since the day he was created, he never smiled. Had he smiled with anyone, it would have been you. But he does not smile with anyone. That's the ferocious look Allah has permanently put on him. They will call him. They will say, Malik, look, we are intensified in this azab. It's just over and over. We need a breather. Oh, Malik, ask Allah to stop the azab only one day. Only, let's just make sense of this. We don't know what's happening. Just one day, one day, one Saturday, one Sunday, Allah asked you, come one Friday for your salah. Hi, hi, then at that time, we just want one day Allah Ta'ala just give us that one day off at that time it is said Malik will ignore them Malik will ignore them 1000 years will go you know when you need an urgent answer and someone doesn't answer your phone you know when you want to go for Hajj and Saudi Arabia is not releasing the quota you know when you need your car but the mechanic is not answering your phone the desperation 1000 years will pass and Malik will not answer them and then Malik will answer Alam yatikum rasulu rabbikum Did Allah's rasuls not come to you? Did the Quran not speak amongst you? Were you not told what to do? Why you went against the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They will cry They will beg And Malik will say Innakum maakithoon You're just going to remain forever Don't talk to me again Then they will say Probably Malik is made like that Let's call unto Allah. Let's call unto Allah. That's when the entire Jahannam will come together and they will ask Allah, Rabbana ghalabat alayna shikwatuna. Rabbana ghalabat alayna shikwatuna. Oh Allah, oh Rabbul Alameen, our wrongfulness has taken over us. Oh Allah, we cannot take the intensity of Jahannam anymore. Rabbana, oh Allah, who else do we call? Allah will answer them. Ikhsa'u fiha wa la tukallibun. Dwell in it. Shut your mouths. Ikhsa, be dishonored. And don't even speak to me. Don't even speak to me. It is said that all the adab put together will not equate the adab of the fact that Allah will not want to see them, nor talk to them. Allah will not want to see them, nor talk to them. That's why my beloved Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa said, اِتَّقُوا النَّارُ وَلَوْ بِشِقِّ tamra." Fear the fire, even if it means half a day giving charity. Do whatever you can to save your face from the fire. May Allah ta'ala grant us all tawfiq.